step into the new when you drive a Chevy. It's time for a fresh approach and a new perspective. And find the Chevy that's right for you. Find new experiences. Find new roads. Chevrolet. Hey there, sports fans. Welcome back to the Missouri Sports Network. MissouriSportsNetwork.com, where everyone has a home field advantage. Presented, as always, by Central Bank of the Ozarks. Dope Propane. Great Southern Bank, Lyuna, Labor's Local 663, and the Chevy Dealers of the Ozarks. And to that end, Chevy Dealers of the Ozarks Athlete of the Week segment here as we go down to Joplin High School and head coach, head Eagles coach, Curtis Jasper. Coach Jasper, thanks for your time this morning. Absolutely appreciate the coverage. Coach, uh, just a tremendous evening, a record, state record uh, evening uh with the Osho Wildcats, and tell us a little bit about uh, Quinn Renf- Renfro-, Renfro and his evening. Yeah, absolutely. You know, he had a big night, uh, over 300 yards rushing and, and eight TDs. You know, obviously uh, uh, was our bell cow Friday night um, and just kind of the way the, the game developed. And, um, you know, the Osho's got a, a pretty prolific offense, and they were they were able to put up points, and uh, we were re- re- uh, able to rely on Quinn to uh, – to answer the call uh, every time we had an offensive position. Coach, and as you, you go in at halftime, it's still a relatively close game, and it was close throughout. Uh, what 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 changes or, or uh, remarks did you have at halftime there as you come out in the second half? Well, obviously we made a couple of mistakes in that first half. Otherwise, you know, we feel like there would probably be a little bit more of a breathing room at that point in time. So we just wanted to clear up any mistakes. Uh, make sure we were good to go. And, uh, you know, we knew uh, we were successful running the ball in the first half, uh, mixed in the pass, but but we knew what they were giving us. We were going to take advantage of it. Uh, we were getting the ball first coming out of halftime. We wanted to make sure we executed on that drive, which we did. Um, and then, you know, defensively, we, uh, you know, pressed on the receivers more in the second half, which made a big difference. And, and uh, you know, we, we just – played it, executed well in the second half. And Quinn, uh, first off, uh, congratulations on behalf of the Missouri State Highway Patrol, Chevy dealers of the Ozarks, uh, Athlete of the Week on a a, a record-breaking evening for certain. But uh, uh, do you have any idea when you looked at the uh, the game plan that you might get that many opportunities? Um, I mean, going into the game, I never try to predict my stats or never try to predict how many times I'm going to score. Uh, I just play my hardest. I just run the ball, do what I'm supposed to do, do my job. And, you know, I happen to get all, all those opportunities, and I took advantage of them. And 34 car- or 36 carries, I believe, 314 yards and, and eight touchdowns. Do, do you have, like, a favorite play now that, hey, I, what, coach needs to call. Are you lobbying on the sideline? Hey, uh, coach, we need to call this. I scored eight touchdowns the other night. <laughs> so, actually, uh, we just put it in a play this uh, last week, and it was a uh, where uh, my lineman, Don Trail, he's blocking for me on a motion. And, I mean, we went four for four for, uh, on that in the red zone. So, that definitely has to be my favorite play. I mean, there's there's not much I have to do when you have a big boy like Don Trail blocking in front of you. Did you have any idea as the game was going on, uh, the yards that you were piling up? Uh, to be honest, no, I had no idea. The only thing I had uh, – I was thinking it is when I was going into halftime. We were, it was twenty-eight to twenty-eight, and I I didn't want to leave the regular season with a loss. So I was more worried about just the winning the game and, and all that. Did you have any idea how many touchdowns you'd score? Yeah, yeah, I definitely. I, I at halftime I, I was at four touchdowns, I believe, and I was thinking to myself, I was like, man, I, I mean, I'm I'm pretty high up there. Like this could this could be a pretty crazy game, but. Uh, yeah, once I was at the, I think it was six or seven, I realized uh, that was Isaiah Davis's previous record. And so I needed one more to break his. And I was like, dang, this is crazy to be this close to, you know, that. Did you make him aware of that? No, I haven't I haven't texted him yet. Uh, he um, he was playing North Dakota, North Dakota State that weekend. So I was – Wanted him to be focused for the game, but I'm definitely gonna have to let him know soon. I definitely have to focus. How did you How did you recover from that? And I've asked you know running backs this you know a lot in time. You, you carry the ball 30 or 40 times, and you think, oh my goodness. And I 
I get the same response. Hey, the ball isn't heavy. It's easy to carry. It's not heavy. I'm out there anyway. But I, what do you do to recover after that? I mean, here at Joplin on Saturdays, we have a we just have a great recovery program. I mean, we have good trainers, you know, and we have a we do yoga and we do specific workouts that just really help our body recover recover. So recovery usually isn't a problem here. I mean, it's it's as good as it can get. Um, and I was back Monday running sprints, ready to go for right back this week. As you uh, you go into uh your district, your week 10 district game, um, you know, what, what, what are you guys going to have to do? What do you feel like your responsibility is if you're going to come out on top? I mean, I feel like if everybody plays their part, you know, everybody plays hard every single play. Um, there's not, there's really no stopping us. I mean, we have a real, we have a whole bunch of great athletes and, you know, our, our coaching is amazing. So if we stick to the plan, stick to the script, I feel like, uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's the key to success right there. You bet. Now, Quinn, are you just, you're just a junior? Yep. Yes, sir. You're a junior. Outstanding. Well, Quinn, once again, on behalf of the Missouri State High Patrol and Chevy Dealers of the Ozarks, congratulations on being a Chevy Dealers of the Ozarks Athlete of the Week. Thanks so much. Coach Jasper, uh, going in here to, to week 10, tell us a little bit about your preparation and, and what you feel like team wise you're going to have to do to come out on top. Yeah, obviously, a Rapex, a, a very quality club. Um, we played them two years ago uh, in the district semifinals when they went on to win state. Uh, so we're familiar with them. Plus, we do some things in the summer uh, up there. And so uh, we understand, you know, what they have with uh, their, their dynamic receivers. Uh, they have a, uh, a great group of running backs as well. Their quarterback does a great job. Um, and so we know we got our work cut out for us. But, uh, you know, we're looking forward to the opportunity. Coach, let's say I open up the paper or go to scoreboardguy.net after the game and you guys have won the game. What what is one or two stats that you're going to point at and say this is what this is why we won? This is what we have to do, whether it's turnovers or penalties or anything. No, definitely. We've had uh, a great year as far as uh, not very many penalties except for last week. So we got to get back to what, you know, on, on what we've done execution wise, you know, low, low number of penalties. Uh, make we gotta make sure we take care of the football. But really, I think, and maybe it's because I'm a line guy. I don't know, but the physicality up front. You know, if we're if, if we're more physical than they are on the offensive defensive lines, then then I feel good. Saturday morning's paper is gonna gonna look good to us. Outstanding. Well, Coach uh, Coach Jasper, uh, again, I appreciate you setting this up and uh, making yourselves available here. I know it's a very busy time with with the postseason going on and. Uh, but we greatly appreciate you being generous with your time. Well, we appreciate the coverage. And Curtis again, or I'm sorry, and Quinn, uh, again, congratulations. Thanks so much. You bet. You're watching the Missouri Sports Network at MissouriSportsNetwork.com, where everyone has a home field advantage. And as always, the Missouri State Highway Patrol reminds us to take that three seconds and buckle up. It's three seconds that could save your life. And we are live in the Pizza Ranch studio with locations in Joplin and Springfield, and we'll see you soon.